The lid's been washing it down. We basically just washed it with soap and water. This thing's in great shape. You D series experts, one thing I need to figure out how to do is get in there and get all those pine needles out. It doesn't, yeah. These panels come off, but there's nothing under there. It's just for the fender access. Thing's sweet. Next up, we'll uh, buff out the paint, being really careful because it's thin. And this uh, darker green is not actually the original paint. It had like a Mako repaint back in the 80s or early 90s. There's a receipt in the truck. I think it was like 600 bucks or something like that. <laughs> Which is it's a cool color. I like the original color. You can kind of see it peeking through on the roof there. A more sage, sage type of green. Liv's gonna just clean up the interior a little bit. Yep. She's been doing this around the shop for a lot of years, since she was probably like 10, and now she's 12. <laughs> oh. So anyway, yeah, we're just gonna wipe everything down, kind of vacuum everything out, see if we can bring this carpet back a little bit. And of course, as with all Scout Life videos, it's grinding, banging, garbage trucking you name it well let's check it out Liv back away okay <laughs> this is kind of a bummer I'm gonna see what I can do to repair because the rest of it's in great shape looks good it looks awesome Liv yeah it's really amazing and you still have to wipe it. You're just done with the vacuum or doing yeah. the vacuum. Yep, I'm gonna try shampooing. We'll see. All right. Yeah. Powerful. Liv, we gotta wipe down the jams too, like in here. Oh yeah. You can tell a good detail by the jams. <laughs> All right, look at this, guys. I know she's not perfect, but who who is or what is nowadays? It looks fan it smells a million times better too. Really? Yeah. I thought it smelled worse. <laughs> no, it smells great. I looked under the carpet, the floors are real solid. There's maybe one little touch on the other side that I'll do some rust bulleting. Yeah, and then we're gonna um lightly compound and, and buff it out and get this thing protected so it's uh stays looking this cool. And I know like we have other major mechanical work, but Liv was kind of looking for something to do. And it makes you more motivated for a project sometimes when you do the little, you know, cosmetic things. It makes you, keeps you more stoked to, to follow through. Because the goal is that we follow through on this project and get the AC working, get the heat work, you know, get everything really dialed in, go through the regulators, put new door seals in it. Um, Dan's gonna help me get get some of these parts I'm missing I have all the trim but I'm missing all the clips so he's gonna help me get all that the clips together um, I got another hubcap yeah what do you guys think there's no hubcaps versus hubcaps you could uh, comment below I'll read them but I definitely think the hubcaps are cool It's all about the long bed two wheel drive trucks nowadays. All right, so this process is gonna be roughly, you know, 12 hours. So we're gonna do some time lapse and I'm assuming you don't wanna watch buffing for 12 hours. So we're gonna just quickly find a point to just kind of walk you through some products and tips that we're going through. Here we're gonna walk through um, some steps and we're gonna go through the process just using these right here. So first things first, Sorry about the noise. We have a mic and we're gonna see if that helps. But, um, so we're gonna start with this prep spray and you're just gonna wanna remember to just be gentle, you know, not go too hard. You're just kinda cleaning off the surface and we're not gonna try to integrate any dirt into the paint. 
Then we're going to go in with the detailing clay to kind of get some of that grit out. Then we're going to go through with compound, polish, finish with that ceramic spray coating. Um, we're not a sponsor of any of these products and we're not experts here, so um, just kind of doing what we can, making it look good. One more thing. This paint is extremely thin. Comes off when your finger is thin. So we're not going to use a buffing machine. We're just going to use our hands. Um, we're going to try our best to make it look shiny new. So I'm just working my way through this. Um, I've been using this Ultimate Compound. It's just off the shelf stuff. I think I prefer like the 3M stuff you can get at a body shop supply store. 
This is a orange pad that's now green. It's taking off paint, but that was to be expected. So next I'll step up to a polishing compound and it just takes time, but the polisher is, the, the power polisher is amazing. I recommend it for any one trying to restore and keep their vehicle looking sharp. Let's get back to it. That pass was with a white pad on, you know, two thirds speed with an ultimate polish. I'm not crazy about this stuff, but I'm, next uh, next phase, it's a black finish pad with a cleaner wax. And I do like this stuff. I used it on the other side. Uh, cleans up really nice. So I'm gonna hit that one more time and hopefully we'll be ready for some ceramic. Okay, so just a quick note and report. So I've been, I tried this stuff on the hood. This is the stuff that I used on the whole passenger side of the rig. And it was, I just seemed to like it better. And then I, so I just used this, which is the polishing compound. This is ultimate compound. I like this product better. So whatever you do, take it for what it's worth. This seems to clean off easier and polish, uh, just it's, it's more clear because it has, has a more brilliant kind of clear finish and uh, this is going to be cutting the oxidation off the paint so back to it.
last step. This has been an arduous process, so it, but it's worth it. Last step after the compound, the cleaner wax, twice. Um, I'm using this Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Ceramic Spray Coating. It's super good stuff, especially for the money. And it's really simple to apply. It's just, and it, they say that don't over apply in the instructions. So it's basically just two squirts. And this is like taking the place of a traditional Carnuba wax, which I will probably wax over the top of the ceramic coating for extra protection. You essentially just work it in, change cloths, and kind of just buff it out. That's what I've done to the whole truck. And we're just about done. All right, here she is, polished up. Compound, polish, cleaner wax, ceramic coating. It's been a fun process. I'll probably put a second coat of ceramic on it. Got a little bit of upholstery to do. Get the AC working. It's great. Thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.